Hello people, in this video let us look at homocysteine urea. Basically this is coming in the disorder of amino acid metabolism. Okay, so homocysteine urea means what is more in these people? Homocysteine. <coughs> homocysteine is more in these people. Now what is this homocysteine? So methionine gets converted to cysteine. In between there is this homocysteine. Okay, homocysteine. So basically <coughs> what will happen in these people? This homocysteine will become so high. Okay, and there will be less of cysteine in these people. What will be less? Cysteine will be less and methionine will be very high. Right? Even homocysteine is high. Cysteine is less. So look at this. This uh, These people don't have this uh, enzyme. Cystathione, cystathionin beta synthase. Cystathionin beta synthase they don't have. This is what you have to write in the exam. This enzyme is not there. What enzyme? Cystathionin beta synthase. So this is an autosomal recessive disorder. So they don't have this um, some um, enzyme. Okay. So what will happen? There will be accumulation of what? Homocysteine and methionine. What and all is accumulating? Homocysteine and methionine. Okay. So it will affect a lot of things in their, um, uh, it will affect their eyes, it will affect their central nervous system, it will affect their uh, skeleton, they can have osteoporosis, right? Then they can have thrombotic lesions in uh, artery, vein, etc. And they will have hypopigmentation of the skin, which also kind of looks like hypopigmentation, okay? So basically this is homocysteine urea. <coughs> so these people can have coronary artery disease, okay? So they can have heart attack, etc. That's what we, we understand, coronary artery disease. So they can also as a child have, uh, if in mother, if it is there, uh, hyper homocysteinemia in pregnancy, then the baby can have neural tube defect, okay. And in this uh, homocysteine urea, there are many types. So they have uh, homocysteine urea type 1 and then type 2. Basically, type 1 homocysteine urea you can correct with vitamin B6 supplementation. So it is B6 responsive. So if you give pyridoxine, they'll be fine. Okay. Then there are other types of uh, homocysteine urea. They have 2, 3, 4 and all. Anyways, just remember, one type 1 homocysteine urea can be corrected with vitamin B6. See, two forms of type 1 homocysteine urea. Okay. In type 1, there are two. In that one of them is vitamin B6 responsive, while the other doesn't. Okay. Apart from type 1, you have type 2, type 3, type 4. Did you understand people? So you have B6 responsive and B6 non-responsive and then you have other types. Okay. So this is about homocysteine urea. So how will you treat? You should give cysteine because cysteine is less. Cysteine. What is the spelling? Cysteine. Cysteine. Is the spelling correct? Okay. C Y S T E E I N E. Okay. Cysteine. So you have to give this. Okay. To these people. <coughs> And uh, you should not give methionine because methionine is more and homocysteine also is more. So you give these people cysteine and then you give pyridoxine if it is vitamin B6 dependent. You understood that, right? So look at this. Um, a homocysteine is big. Uh, ho see, homocysteine is here. Basically, methionine, cysteine conversion in between you have some homocysteine. This homocysteine has become more. Methionine has become more because some enzyme is not there here. What is that enzyme? Cystothionine synthase, right? Yeah. So what they are giving in these people? <coughs> they are giving vitamin B6 along with uh, cysteine, right? With the, with vitamin uh, cysteine, they are giving vitamin B6 and they are giving less of methionine, right? So this is the treatment. Something to do with vitamin B12 folic acid also is there here. Seems to be coming in type 4, what do you say? <coughs> Anyways, we will not go too much into detail. So cystathionine beta synthase is the enzyme, okay? Don't forget that. And what is the treatment? Give cysteine, don't give methionine, that's it. And give some pyrid pyridoxin. What is cysteine by the way? It's an amino acid. Interestingly, the cysteine is a non-essential uh, amino acid. That is our body can synthesize it. That's what they are trying to see, right? Our body can synthesize it. That is why it's called non-essential. But when our body is not able to synthesize it, that is when the disease homocysteine urea occurs. And the more the symptoms are because of the excess of homocysteine, right? That is the whole problem here. This uh, cysteine basically, uh, it contains sulfur. Okay, and uh, it helps in hair, skin and nails. That is why whenever you buy this uh, hair, skin and nail tablets, knowing that cysteine will be there. Wait, let's see. Look at this. This is the tablet. Sometimes they prescribe biotin and vitamins, minerals for uh, hair, skin and nails. In that cysteine is there. Right? Now you can understand the importance of the cysteine, etc. Right? So how will you treat uh, homocysteine urea? 
methionine nine restricted cysteine supplemented diet with large doses of pyridox pyridoxine that is nothing but vitamin b6 okay that's it for now guys uh, hope you have understood homocysteinuria bye bye